Today on Barlow Barbecue, we're serving up pork tenderloin smoked on the Weber Kettle Grill. We're going to start with a sear to lock in those juices, and then we'll cook it indirect until it's tender and juicy. And then we're going to finish it with a honey jalapeno garlic glaze. I can't hardly wait for that. I don't think you guys want to miss this one. Let's get cooking. The first step in today's cook is the sear. Now we're using the slow and sear from Adrenaline Barbecue Company, but if you don't have that, it's okay. You can use the Weber charcoal baskets or any other accessory that you may have. Let's check out the pork tenderloin and get that prepped. A couple hours ago, I added some kosher salt to the tenderloin and let that sit in the fridge uncovered until it's time to cook. Now that's called a dry brine and it gives time for the salt to work its way into the meat and that will add flavor. Now add some olive oil, just brush some lightly onto the tenderloin on all sides. Next add some uh, ground black pepper. Once you've got that covered in black pepper on all sides, you're ready to sear. Okay, we're all set up. Let's get the tenderloin on and start the sear. I'm gonna give this about a couple minutes on this side. We've got about two minutes on this side, time to flip. I think this side's looking pretty good. Yeah. So I'm gonna to try to get this side right here. Another minute right there. Okay guys, we're about done with the sear. We've been a few minutes on each side. I think I'm gonna to try to get this section right here. Look at that, that's looking beautiful. And that should wrap it up. We should be ready to smoke here real soon. That should do it, that's enough of a sear, so it's time to smoke. Let's get it on the indirect side here. Now this really shouldn't take long at all to smoke. We're going for 145 degrees. You saw me put a probe in the tenderloin earlier. That way I can monitor the temps. And right now we're looking at 108. So while we're waiting for that, let's get over to Martha and she's gonna put together that honey jalapeno glaze. What we have here is some fresh jalapeno, ginger, and some garlic. This is gonna be the base of our glaze. To that we're gonna add about two tablespoons of butter, melted, about the same amount of honey. Just gonna mix all that up and slather it on that pork while it's cooking. Boy, oh boy, this looks great. We're just gonna cook this on here so it'll be like candy pork. Now the trick with that glaze is to get it on the tenderloin early enough so it has a little bit of time to set, okay? So again, this shouldn't take very long. We'll see it when this is ready. Tenderloin has been on for 30 minutes and you know what? It is done. We've hit our target temp of 145 degrees. So we're gonna pull it off the grill and let it rest for 10 minutes before we slice into it. Okay, this has rested for 10 minutes. Let's slice into it. Let's do the first slice right down the middle.
We've got some leftover glaze that we warmed up and we're just gonna pour that right on top. All right, let's give this a try. You ready? I am so ready. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's like candy port. Oh yeah. Delicious. All right, folks, I'm giving that two thumbs up. What do you think, Four Martha? thumbs up. Four thumbs up. That's real good. Got a nice heat from the jalapeno, the touch of honey and the ginger. And you know, the indirect cooking gives it a nice smoke flavor. I'm real happy with this one. We'll have a recipe for everything for you right down below in the description box. We sure had fun cooking with you today. Yep. And I had fun cooking with you today. And with you too, <laughs> sweetie. And with you. Thanks a lot for spending time with us. So until next time, we're going to say smoke them if you got them. And if you don't got them, better go get them. That's right. See ya.